All right, so here's the vertical minecart elevator concept. Uh, it uses a bubble column um, that goes all the way up. So this is a bubble column. Here at the top, there's a water source block that rushes over and uh, apparently this rail will block the water from flowing. So you put a powered, powered rail right there. So the minecart's gonna come up this bubble column it's going to get pushed out onto this rail and then it'll go back around and uh, the whole process repeats. Uh, this right here is a double piston extender. Um, what this is, is the minecart comes in on the rail, comes in, falls in here and uh, lands right here. This is a double piston extender. In order to get the minecart into the bubble column, it has to push one two spaces to get the minecart fully in and then after that the minecart will float up to the top and then the piston retracts i'm sure there are automated automated ways of doing it um i don't know them but i think it comes out better this way for demonstration so i think this is like a zero two four or zero four two or something like that uh, but on Bedrock Edition, this is on Xbox. The timings don't work out the same as they do on Java. So I call this a near far middle. In other words, there's three blocks of power over here. There's the blocks that are the nearest, the blocks that are the furthest, and the blocks in the middle. And so whenever I say near far middle, that means that the power sequence has to happen on the near block first, the far block second, the middle block third. Uh, and it cycles that way both for on and off. So we'll do the near block. And then we do the far block. That puts it up. Now we do the middle block. Now we do near again. Far. And middle. And the mine card is there. Now, again, the, the, the timings ended up being different on uh, my version. Uh, so... I'm sure there's a way of putting a detector rail in there and, and having this all work out beautifully, but so it's going to go up and it'll fall right back in on top of the piston and it goes right back in. I right, glitched out. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there it goes. But yeah, you got to play with the timings because over and over what happened was is on the retract, this gold block here would end up sitting right there. Uh, if, it, if the sequence goes too fast for the pistons, it ends up leaving this gold block. I don't know why. Um, it just does. Um, so, yeah. Double piston extender to push the minecart into a bubble column. The met typical methods of doing a bubble column elevator of having a sign block the water doesn't work. So uh, you have water that runs out of the bubble column here. It pushes the minecart flush up against the gold block. The other thing is coming in to the system here. Um, you'll notice I built up some extra blocks here. You really, because the minecart will bounce around and flounce around and do all kinds of stuff, you really want to wall this in so that whenever the minecart comes in, it really, really gets a nice firm uh, orientation, doesn't wiggle and jiggle a whole lot. Um, I found if I don't wall this in a little bit, that uh, it gets a little unpredictable. And of course, if you extend the wall out further, that's even better. I'm not doing that. And that's it. Click. Come on now. Ting, ting. That works.